Welcome to the NGIT website and math podcast. My name is Vanessa and today I will be covering set notation. Now set nota- sets are basically intervals or just a or, or brackets that within the brackets you have several um, numbers or even variables that you want to include that have something in common. Um, and there's two ways you can write sets. They're it's either called in using the roster method, which lists the, the specific elements or variables in your set, or set builder notation, which describes the elements and compares them. So you can compare the, a variable to different numbers, or you can compare different variables, or, some, or anything like that. So I'll, let me write an example of each. Now, if you have um, a set using roster method, now you you have to use um brackets, the, the squiggly brackets which look like this. Okay, and then within the the set is just basically you just list all the elements. So an example of a set would be minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. That would be an example of a set. As you can see, the elements are also in order from decreasing to increasing, which is how they should be listed. And then if you have multiple sets, you can always assign, give, the, give the set a name or using a letter. So you can say so I'm calling this set A, and A will be equal to this set using the, the following types of brackets. And then you can also compare different sets using set notation. So say if this we call if we call this set A, and then I bring up another set which I'm going to call B, and this set B is going to include the following elements: minus four, minus two, zero, two, and four. Let me close the bracket. Now, when you have multiple sets, you can compare them. In different, in two di- two different ways, you can bring them together in a union or in an intersection, and they're described like this. If you're just using the the names of the of the sets, which is A and B in this case, you can have a union, which is simply depicted with a U, or you can also have an intersection, which is the upside down. So we'll go over what each of them mean. Now the union is this it pretty much describes the elements that exist in A or B or in both. So in this case if if we were, if we were told to find the union of A and B which is here we would pretty much list all the elements but, but not repeating any. So, and also you have to make sure you do it in order. So if we look, if we go down the list, we've got minus four, we've got minus two. Notice how negative two is in both the sets, but because we're looking for the union, you only have to list it once. Uh, let's see, we also have negative one, we have zero, which is in both, we have one, We've got two, which is also which is also in both, and we have four. So that would be the union of A and B. Now, if we're looking for the intersection of A and B, which is with the upside down U, that is specifically elements that are in the, both the sets have in common. So in this case, which numbers do they have in common? We have the negative two. We have uh, zero and two. And of course, always close bracket. So those are the three elements that both sets have in common, which will be joined by an, inter- an intersection. And in the other one, the union is elements that are common to both sets, even if they are repeated, but they, they each have to be included. 
So we'll do one more example using um, an intersection and a union. So say we have the following sets. Set A, which is equal to the following elements. Minus 3, minus 1, 0, 1, and 3. And then we have set B, which is equal to this set, minus 4, 2, 0, 2, and 4. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to find the intersection. So, the intersection, which is the upside down U, between sets A and B would be equal to, now don't forget, intersection are the ones that both sets have in common. So what numbers do they have in common? Alright, so if we look at this, the only numbers that they have in common would be 0, correct? So in this case, our set would only be one element, which is the number zero, because it's the only element that is common in both A, sets A and set B. So now the other one is the union, union between A and B is equal to this set. And here we have to list all the elements that are in A or B or both. And remember, ones that are, that are in both, you only have to list once. So we just go down the line, and of, of course, do it, you have to do it from decreasing to increasing. So we will start with negative 4, then we go to negative 3, negative 1, 0, and don't forget, only list the 0 once, then 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then close the set. And that would be the union of A and B. So thank you for visiting the NGIT website. If you need any further assistance, please feel free to stop by the CAPE, or the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment, located in Kufrian Hall, room 200. Good luck in your studies.